Hi guys. It is a warm one today. It's September. It's just a few days away from the start of uh, fall, but we are in a heat wave and it is just about 90 degrees and man, does it feel like summer. So I thought, great time to do bratwurst on the flat top. Now, when I was a kid, my dad was a member of the American Legion Post 21 in Stambo, Michigan. And they would have their summer picnic. You know, I think it was July, maybe August every year. And there would just be a ton of families out at the lake. We'd be swimming, there'd be a lot of grilling. And one of the biggest things that was always done out there was the bratwurst. And the bratwurst was cooked in beer, and then there was the onions and the peppers and everything. And oh, man, love that bratwurst. For whatever reason, I could not recreate that recipe as I grew older. It was like it was locked in with the Legion or something. But now I have found out how to do it, and I'm going to share this with you. All right, so let's get going on that. Okay, guys, uh, to get things started, three tablespoons of butter. Now let's move the butter around a little bit, get it started melting. Okay, I have also cut up a bell pepper. In that goes. I've also cut up a medium white onion, yellow onion if you want to call it. Slice that thin, in that goes. So now we just break all this stuff up. Now I'll leave this go for probably around 10, 15 minutes or so, and then we will come back and check and see what shape they're in, and we'll add the beer and the brats and everything. Well, the onions and peppers have been simmering away now for around, oh, 10 minutes or so, and they are getting nice and soft, so it is time to add everything into it except for the brats. So, we start off with some apple cider vinegar, a quarter cup. A half cup of brown sugar. A nice liberal dash, of course, of black pepper. And then the ingredient that always made it smell like the Legion's picnic out at Ottawa Lake in Michigan's beautiful Upper Peninsula, beer. And I don't drink it, but I sure do cook with it. I drank enough of it over the years. Let's just put it that way. It's been a long time since I had one. Not even interested anymore, but that's okay if you do. Not a biggie to me. I prefer lemonade for drinking. I've even got a really good recipe for lemonade. I'll put a link to it at the end of the video. Now we stir this stuff up. And then we let it sit and simmer. Oh, another, say five, 10 minutes before we add the brats. Well, the beer, peppers, and onions have now been simmering for a little while, and it looks real nice. I don't know if it comes through in there, but it is just a nice little light bubbling all over the place. So it's time to add the brats. Now, usually I add Johnsonville, but this is what we had in the freezer. <laughs> so <laughs> we're putting in Bell's Craft Beer Bratwurst.
And now at this point, this is where it is totally individual choice. I know some recipes say, just let it simmer for five to 10 minutes. I like the flavor. I'm gonna probably let these guys simmer for a half an hour or so. So we'll be back and we'll see how they look. I'll probably, you know, I'll check them in around 15 minutes or so, but I'm sure that I'll be letting them go. So and then we'll move on to the next step. Well, we're around 20 minutes in. I just flipped them over that way. Uh, probably another 10 minutes to go or so. Then we'll take them out of the fry pan and put them on the flat top to give them some color. And I'll also toast up the buns. And then when we're actually ready to build, I'll take out some of the pepper and onions and put those on the flat top too and give them a little uh, crisp, crisping up, shall we say. Anyway, back here in a few. Okay, it's been another 10 minutes or so. So they have been uh, on here now for just about 40 minutes. It's time to slide the pan again down to the cooler side. Then I'll take the brats out for browning and then we will also we will toast the buns. You hear that? Now let's also put the buns on. We buttered them. And so now we'll toast them quick here. Turn off the second burner, not needed anymore. Let's see. Hey, look at there. Starting to get a little color. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to keep flipping them back and forth. I'll put them on their sides, stand them on their heads if I can. We just want to get some color. So as you can see, I've lined them all up here. Just trying to get them browned on each side. Now I'm going to check the buns and see how they're looking. Oh, looky there. Just about ready. Same there. Same there. Okay. I can take these guys off. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay guys, now it's time to put some of the peppers and the onions on and get them going. Well guys, it is time to build one. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is put some mustard down on here. Now, let's grab one of these bad boys and let's put these on. Oops, we lost one. Now we top it off with just a little bit more mustard. All 
All right, guys, look at that. Let's flip it around this way for you so you can see it. And I'll get over to the table and I will let you know how it came out. Well, guys, here it is. Once again, I got my Fritos. I have got my pickles and I've even got a bee flying around here. Get, go on, get. So it's just like, you know, the summer picnic. Get. Here we go. The beer makes so much difference when you cook them. And you, you could cook them just, you know, in a fry pan or something like that. But simmering them in that beer with those peppers and those onions and that brown sugar. Oh my God. And just, just look at that bad boy. You can try one more here. Of course you get the flavor of the brat but then the sweet and spicy mustard, the bell peppers, the onions. Oh, it all just goes together it's so darn good. And like I said, just essence of beer, not flavor of beer, essence of beer. So I said, I've got my lemonade here and I'll put a link to it at the end of this video, but I'm gonna go back to enjoying this guy here. I mean, it's just like we're at Ottawa Lake up in the UP. You know, the, the men, they're out there playing baseball, the women are cleaning up, the kids are down at the lake. And I've got my brat. Happy boy. All right, guys, going in again. That right there is the flavor of summer. It's the flavor of summer. Give this recipe a try. Let me, leave me a comment. Tell me how it went. And if there's any other recipes you'd like me to try, let me know in the comment section and I will try to get to them as soon as possible. All right, guys. Thanks much. I'm going to finish this guy and I'll see you guys next week.